Hey guys, we're going to look at some video notes for parameter changes of exponential functions. If you'll turn your paper on the back, we'll go ahead and get right to it. So first of all, um, let's look at the parent y equals 3 to the x power. Okay, so if I want to graph this parent, I'm going to go ahead and start off by making a table. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and pick some values for x. Let's go ahead and pick a negative. Okay, now we're just going to plug these numbers in. We're going to try to do this all without using a calculator. So starting off with negative 1, we have 3 to the negative 1, which gives us 1 third. 3 to the 0. 3 to the 1st, 3 to the 2nd, 3 to the 3rd. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a graph. I'm going to pause my video for a moment and set up a graph. Okay, so make yourself an xy axis, put some tick marks on there, and let's go ahead and plot some points. So we've got negative 1 and 1 third, so negative 1, 1 third, about right here. 0, 1, that's our special point. Remember, that's the point that we translate. 0, 1, 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 9, 2, 9. It's about all I'm going to be able to fit on here. So, drawing our exponential equation uh, function, just like that. Don't forget, we have an asymptote right here along the x-axis, x equals 0. Okay, <clears throat> Okay. let's take a look at our parameter changes now. So, parameter changes, using this as our parent, first thing we're going to do is look at an a value. So let's take a look at an a value of 2. So 2 times 3 to the x. Okay, how does that affect our graph. Well, first of all, 3 to the x, remember, represents y. So basically what we're doing is we're multiplying all the y coordinates by 2. Okay, Remember, this is a vertical stretch. So, looking at our table, So again, 3 to the x represents y. So we're going to take all our y coordinates and multiply them by 2. So 1 third times 2 gives us 2 thirds. So our new coordinate is going to be negative 1, 2 thirds. Okay, 0, 1, multiplied by 2. So our new coordinate is 0, 2. Oops, sorry about that. Negative 1, 2 thirds. That's a negative 1. Let me write it above. Okay, for 1 we had gotten a 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So our new coordinate is 1, 6. And then for 2 we got 9. And then for 3 we had gotten 27. Okay? So then we would plot these points and notice that all our y coordinates, all these y coordinates, are double. So it's going to cause a vertical stretch. It's going to stretch up vertically. Now I don't really have a lot of room here to, to, to draw this in, <clears throat> um, but basically if you take a look at your starting point at 0, 1, it's now at 0, 2. So it'd be right here. Everything's getting stretched up. 
twice as tall. So this one was up one, two, three. So it's going to be three times two is six. So one, two, so six units up. So it's going to kind of go through here. It's going to really get stretched up. Okay, let's look at some other parameter changes. Let's take a look at this one. What if we take 3 to the x and we do this? We do that. Give me a moment here. Okay, this tells us we have a, a horizontal translation. Remember, this is a group. And so we have a horizontal translation. And our translating point is going to be, if you remember, our translating point for our parent is 0, 1. So we take our translating point of 0, 1, and we're going to move it two units to the right. Horizontal translation, two units right so from our parent 0 1 we go two units to the right so 1 2 basically all these points right here are moved two units to the right okay which means we're affecting the x coordinates the y coordinates are all staying the same the x coordinates are all trans moving two units to the right. So notice we're at 2, 1. Okay? So our 0, 1, since it got moved two units to the right, 0 plus 2 is 2, 2, 1. So this one would be 1 plus 2. So this would be 3, 3. One, two, three. One, two, three. <clears throat> Next one. Two units to the right. Two plus two is four, so four, nine. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go all the way up to nine. Let's go back down here. Negative one plus two is one. One, one third. So one, one third. All right, so let's go ahead and draw this in. <clears throat> so far, vertical asymptote, I'm sorry, horizontal asymptote, x equals, uh, y equals zero. Same thing with this one. It was still y equals zero. And this one, y equals zero. Okay, let's take a look at one more translation here. And we're going to look at a vertical translation. Uh, yeah, we'll do plus three plus three. Okay, so notice what's being affected, x or y. That's right, good job. This is y, so y, the y coordinate is moving up three units. What was being affected here? x. Okay, so x was being affected. Two units to the right. All right, so take a look. I'm going to go ahead and write this down. Here's our parent. Okay. The Y's are getting moved three units up. So it's going to be add three. So we're going to have negative one comma four thirds. Let's see, three and a third, which is actually not four thirds. Three and a third is ten-thirds 
I'll just put three and a third, make it easy. We're moving three units up, so zero, four. Ooh, I missed one. Sorry about that. Missed one, three, plus three. It's going to be one, six, two, twelve, three, thirty. Okay, so if you take the parent, remember this, the translating point is at zero, one. So we would move it up three. So that zero, one would go up one, two, three. Does that correlate? Let's see, that'd be zero, four. There it is, zero, four. One, six, one, six. Two, twelve, two, twelve. And negative one and three and a third. Oh, before I um, draw this graph, let's talk about the horizontal asymptote. It's changed. Since um, it moved up three units, our horizontal will also move up three units. So instead of being at y equals zero, it's going to be at y equals three. And that's going to be our horizontal asymptote. Okay, so generally speaking, to get your horizontal asymptote, it's going to be y equals k. Notice my k value in this one is 0, 0, 0, horizontal asymptote, 3. Okay, all right, we'll see you in class tomorrow. Go Spurs, go! I hope they won.